Hello edupunks, sorry I can't be with you today but uh, Friday is a big teaching day for me so I won't be able to enjoy the free hospitality that you're all about to have. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience of being on uh, Craig and Phil's edupunk course. I think the first thing is that it gave me a lot of confidence to try out some of these new approaches and new technologies. The other thing was it really blew my mind that there were so many resources out there I hadn't realised just what was available to help our students to learn and to give them a ground in, in some of our subjects. And then finally I learnt technology that I didn't know existed so I started using my blog, using webinars, uh, using SlideShare and Twitter, things that I hadn't used before and hadn't thought of using even as basic a thing as PowerPoint I hadn't realized you could embed links in there that would take the students to different resources on the internet and eventually to a wiki in which they could write their own uh, opinions and give their own analysis so thanks to Craig and Phil for setting up the course I've certainly enjoyed it and benefited from it and that's without even talking about the discussions and the readings and all the learning that I've done there. The way it's developed my practice, um, I think the key thing for me has been the use of webinars. I've hosted six of those for a group of students um, on the Positive Practice with Children and Young People Foundation degree. We had an hour in class and then we had half an hour every week in which we could do some webinars. The hour in class I could totally dedicate to interactive discussions and experiential learning. And then the 30 minutes that I had on the internet would allow me to go through PowerPoint presentations, give advice about um, future reading, and uh, really uh, underline some of the learning that, and learning outcomes that we discussed in class. And the feedback I got was really encouraging. Um, people liked it, it was a different style of learning, they were able to learn from home so it was very flexible and also they appreciated the fact that I could make a recording of the presentation so that those that weren't able to make it on the evening could play it in their own time and play it again as well. Um, so I took some feedback, did a little bit of action research about the webinar and people generally did enjoy it and thought it was a useful way of learning and an addition to what we were doing in class. And when we came to set the date for another webinar for a safeguarding course that I'm teaching, they actually preferred me to make YouTube videos that they could access anytime and they've all uh, now got YouTube accounts and they're adding their own comments after they've watched my YouTube videos. So that's come out of the webinar experience but builds in a little bit more flexibility. My concerns when I've been using this technology was first of all participation. How could I make sure everybody participated? So I'd ask people to go and uh, make comments on my blog and I'd only get two or three responses. Uh, about half the class tuned into my webinar and it wasn't because there were uh, access problems, all of them were able to access uh, computers. It was that they just didn't feel invested enough I think in viewing those webinars in the here and now as they were broadcast. There were also technical hitches, uh, there were software changes and sometimes there were difficulties uh, getting uh, the thing up and running and I'd often forget to press record so that we didn't end up with a video of the process. So there is a downside to this uh, but I think on the whole I was really encouraged by the feedback that I got by the experience and as I got more used to the hosting the webinars they became a little bit more interactive and on the whole you know there are something that I'll continue in the future I'd like to set up for my own subject area which is counselling some kind of wiki which includes uh, PowerPoints on slideshows, uh, collections of 
links using delicious uh, my blog YouTube videos interactive PowerPoints links to the Twitter feed I really do have this vision of uh, a place a space on the web where people can go to access information about counseling and counselor training whatever level they're studying at and uh, and that's my ambition I'm, I'm hoping to give that a go in the summer so that's been my experience of using these uh, learning resources I hope yours has been as popular uh, thanks very much bye bye